All right, today we are having a look at the Mad Spotters. Bought these a few months back. Uh, ordered them right off the Mad Spotter website. $69.95 Canadian plus 10% off first purchase. Um, so all in all, not a bad price. So if you don't know what the Mad Spotters are, basically they're a hook. Hook on your uh, barbell. Dumbbell sits on here. This allows you to start your uh, dumbbells without having to start them from the floor. You just take your dumbbell, drop it on there. Take this little sleeve, wrap it around. You're set to go. I've heard lots of people say, oh, yeah, bro, if you can't start them from the floor, you shouldn't lift them. Well, in my mind, with these, not only do they help save your shoulders, but they allow you to start your pressing from an optimal position. It's like starting with a barbell. Who starts a barbell from the floor? No one. You want to get your shoulders set, get your back set, and then start your press. You can press as much as possible. So I'm going to show you quickly with 50 pounds, and then I'll up it and put... 100 pounds on here and show you how easy they uh, how easy they are uh, they're rated for 170 pounds or 80 kilograms which is more than I'll ever lift on a dumbbell press um, most I've ever had on them is 130s and they held up totally fine we'll get them in place here So you gotta kind of play around, find the right spot with your barbell. But the nice thing, like I say, you get your shoulders set, get your butt set, big breath, lift off, and you're good to go. Then when you're done, just bring it back, hook them on, just that easy. So let's up the weight and see how it looks. All right, so we've got 100 pound dumbbell loaded on there. I'll load the other one on to show you sort of what that looks like. And I'll show you how easy it is to unrack with a little bit heavier weights. So I just pick it up this way. Drop it in the cradle. Take a little sleeve. Wrap it around the Velcro, and we're set. Back on the bar, good to go. So now we'll do a, uh, we'll set up my uh, incline bench and we'll do a shoulder press. It's a little bit more awkward on the shoulder press, but we'll show you what that looks like. All right, now we're gonna have a look at starting them with shoulders. So I find shoulders a little more awkward, but what I do is I start them a little further behind me. Then I just swing them out a little bit. Then when you're done, just have a look back, drop them into place, good to go. So looking back on them, in my mind they're totally worth buying. They allow you to start in a most advantageous, advantageous pressing position possible. So to me there's two things important when working out. Number one, safety. Number two, getting the most out of the exercise. So whether it be flat press, shoulder press, get your shoulders back and set, back locked, it's gonna be safer and it's gonna allow you to lift the most with the best form. So in my mind, it, if it's gonna set you up to do that, totally worth having. You know, I can start um, 130 pound dumbbells on flat bench press from my knees. But once I kick them back, 
I have a hard time from that point getting my shoulders set under me. With these, I can make sure my shoulder and my back are set before I even unrack them. Same as I would do on a barbell bench press. Um, 60 day money back guarantee, in my mind, it's a no brainer. Thanks for watching. Have a good night.